just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. South Carolina, South Carolina is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Number 86, back to return. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Watch out here. He's taken down around the 31 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Give to the tailback. Brought down at the 32. to 35. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. throw out to the receiver incomplete not a great throw by the quarterback but to be fair that was pretty good coverage it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker and down he goes around the 47 yard line brad i think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for offense: third down conversions and red zone offense Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's tackled the 37-yard line. He lost the ball. He picks it up. And he's tackled at the 47. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Caught open field. He goes out of bounds around the 22-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He's got it with room to run inside the 10, and he's taken down just outside the goal line. Tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Second down and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. 
The Rebel running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. Hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three, and down he goes at the 21. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Caught a big hit there to stop it. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. tries to buy some time. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. He makes his way to about the 48. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and ten. Makes it out to about the 29. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Number 17. From the 29-yard line. It's first down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 17. The Gamecocks had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He makes it to the 15-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. the delay and he's brought down immediately that was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play from the 15 yard line it's third down quick strike to the back and he drops it Kicks away, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Dumps it out left to the running back. 
So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Ole Miss is up four. Makes it out to about the 49. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Ole Miss is up by four. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 46. 14, 14. And he's immediately tackled. And this play is number eight on the drive. That makes it second. Ole Miss is up by four. Throw, caught, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. tackle immediately and they'll lose a yard there really they just had nowhere to go after the catch That'll bring up second and 11. second down and 11 yards to the sticks all on the 24. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. They'll get six yards. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch.
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick strike, and he drops it. The pass is incomplete. Number 10 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets out to about the 21. We've got third and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Fires across the middle. He's taken down at the 49. Out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. They'll give it off here. Nice gain as he works the right side. The Rebels will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They hand it off. Touchdown, Mississippi. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he's flushed and they got it. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. at the 25-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets it out quickly. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 48-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. From the 48-yard line, first down. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Here. 
He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. He's scrambling, and down he goes at the 32. About eight yards there on the scramble. South Carolina's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Green nine, green nine. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's a game of 13. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. the ninth play of the drive. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. He scrambled. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Three, that makes it easy, first and easy. Blair, Blair. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 21-10. South Carolina, the kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 38. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Come on, D. Red two. Kill, kill. Panther two. Pass. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Fires it out. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Lays him out. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. Here's the give. Tackle made at the 35. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position in this football game. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. He gets rid of this one. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 10. And he has it on the corner. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. He makes it to the 18-yard line. The 10. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And 
And they make the stop at the two. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Takes the counter left. Touchdown, South Carolina. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he adds the extra point. South Carolina kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. South Carolina is playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Ole Miss is up four. Nice run, and he's brought down. He goes out of bounds at the 49-yard line. He'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. After a decent pickup. and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Ole Miss is up by four. And he's stopped behind the line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Rebels, wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. That's three down and one to go. The Rebels lead it by four. Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's brought down in the open field. Three 
And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 42. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Scrambling around. Slides down. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's on the run. And they got it. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 47 yard line, second down. Catches it, he's punished. That play fake good for five yards. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Screen. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner. Tackle around the 36 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ole Miss is up a score. Goes over the middle. The tailback's got it. Brought down at the 48-yard line. And he's got his man. And down he goes at the 36. Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26 yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Tackle at the 17. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game.
pass is tipped away. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass plays. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And this is the eighth play of the drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Nice run there. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. It's up, and he got it. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly, and he hits him hard at the 34. We're about set to start things up again. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down at the 31. The back gets three on the carry. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He gets another carry. He's at the 20. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the nine-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.